Today we're making fire. <laughs> it's almost spring. 715 has two campouts coming up, two weeks apart. One, they'll be teaching trail life kids if they can push the clutch to the floor and see over the windshield at the same time, they're going to learn how to drive a manual out in someone's field with up and down tank dams and all kinds of fun stuff. And then two weeks later is the Steel Soldiers Texas rally. Well, I noticed the, since it's a CUCV 6.2 diesel with the CUCV wiring, my cold start advance fast idle, the green wire on the 6.2, isn't getting power. So it's either it's unplugged somewhere or the thermal sensor in the, on the pasture side rear of the cylinder head is faulty. I looked up online. Those things are $129. I got the parts depot. So today I'm going to test one I pulled off one of those vehicles. All it is is a, let me get, it screws into the cylinder head in the pasture rear of the cylinder head down below the uh, injector. And when it's below, I always, I've read 94 degrees. It's connected, so the power comes from the truck to the green wire off that goes to the fuel injection pump. So this one I have rigged up with a it's, it's Celsius thermometer in the water, and I have this ohm meter, volt ohm meter, set to make noise. So we have power going through it. Cold engine. Now let's get you closer. Cold engine, make sure you can see the readings. Yes, you see 25 degrees Celsius. We have ohms. So let's move this over to the fire. Let's see what happens. So I only have a Celsius probe. I don't have a Fahrenheit probe. It's at 28. 28 is 84.2, 29 is 84.2 degrees Fahrenheit. When the beeping stops, that means we've reached the point where it turns off the fast idle cold events. Turn my fire up a little bit. And I have it, as you can see in the picture, I have the probe hanging from the wires, not touching the bottom. And I had to get out the old three burn liquid Coleman just to let it be used every now and then. Yes, that's an annoying buzzing. Okay, we're at 29. Like I said, 29 is 84.2. 30 is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything that I've read says at 94 degrees. The switch opens and stops continuity. 31 degrees Celsius is 87.8. 32, 89.6. 33, 91.4. And the timber 34, 93.2. So we're getting real close to the spot. So 34 Celsius is 93.2 Fahrenheit. Uh oh. 35 is 95. And this switch could be bad. I pulled it out of an old truck. 36 is 96.8. Oh, 37 is 98.6. Thirty-eight, my goodness, hundred point four. Oh, forty. Hundred and four. One oh four. Make sure the sensor is not touching the sensor. It is in the water. Forty-two. Is one oh seven point six. Uh 
That's a very annoying buzzing. 45 is 113. Looks like this one might be not worth putting in because it's going to stick on. Interesting. I was hoping it was going to work. Now you go find another one. Got weird noises coming from over here, but it doesn't blow up on me. Who knows what those noises are? 49 is 120 degrees. 50. I think we're well past the spot where it should turn off. a little bit beyond where it should be that it should have been 94 degrees my little chart I brought out it stops at 48.5 Celsius being 119 Fahrenheit or at 53 turn this off so this is a bad sensor. But before you go spending $129 for one of these hard to find sensors, I suggest you test your old one. I'm going to have to pull the one off the 715 or actually put an ohmmeter on it. Anyway, teachable moment failure today. 